What's the difference between a civil engineer and an architect? You ever wonder exactly what does an architect do and exactly what does a civil engineer do? Do they ever have responsibility towards one or the other? Do, they, do their roles cross one another? Do, uh, do architects work for civil engineers or do civil engineers work for architects? Well, that depends. And in this video, we're gonna talk about it. There's a big difference between architects and civil engineers. Sometimes they work on the same team together and the architect leads and other times they're on two separate teams. So when is the, an architect in the lead and what is the responsibility of an architect? When is a civil engineer in the lead and what is his responsibilities? Let's take a look at this a little closer. Architects are mostly in charge of design and they're in the design of a structure, let's say a building. And so everything that goes involved into that building, the, the structural designs of that building, what material goes into that building, the, uh, the aesthetics of the building, the, uh, the functionality of the building, all that falls underneath the architect. Now he'll have several sub-disciplines underneath him to design all those various components. One of those is a structural engineer. Now, a structural engineer is a subset of civil engineering. All structural engineers start off as civil engineers, and then they specialize in structural design, and they get their license in, additions, in addition to their in civil engineering license as a structural engineer. But they usually work on the uh, architectural team. Civil engineers, on the other hand, are a little bit different. Civil engineers are more geared towards the design of uh, the infrastructure that supports the buildings or supports a bridge or a road or what have you. They, they are more in, in tune to the grades of something, how the uh, make it work functionality of a project. So civil engineers are usually in design teams or they're on a construction crew. They are project engineers within the construction. So the civil engineers don't always work with architects on their design teams. They usually work as side by side with architects in that sense. I own my own civil engineering company and we work in designing mostly residential and commercial projects. Our work leads, as I've always explained, all the way from the street up to the face of the building, okay? Once we get to the building, we stop. Okay, we, we look at the pad elevations, the finished floor elevation of that building, but everything else, that's the architect's responsibility. We take care of the grading that leads away from the building. We make sure the sewer and the water that leads from the building gets to the street, and then it moves from there on down to the mains, if we have a main. If not a main, then we have to design a main that goes from an existing main up to the property. So that's pretty much what we do as civil engineers. Architects, on the other hand, are quite a bit different. And say they're like I said, they are dealing with the functionality, the aesthetics of the structure, the building. Now, sometimes you'll have an architect involved in bridge designs too. They'll uh, want to make it look a certain way, have a bridge shaped a certain way. And then the structural engineer then comes involved in making sure that all those unusual components of that bridge will actually work, that they'll actually hold up the bridge. So that's the way to think of a civil engineer versus an architect. Sometimes we work for the architect and other times we work side by side with an architect, and other times we don't even have an architect involved in what we're doing. Hopefully that answers your question about exactly what's the difference between an architect and a civil engineer. It just depends on exactly what the civil engineer is doing, if he's a structural engineer or if he's a civil engineer in the design process. I know you've gotten value out of this video, so please go down below and subscribe to our channel. Also go over to the side there and click that bell and that way you get notified every time we upload a new video. You also notice way over there a new video that we recommend that you watch. There's actually two over there. 
either one, and you'll learn more about the business of engineering and how to manage your own engineering uh, firm or your own engineering team. So until the next time, keep on growing as an engineer and keep on developing those management skills. See you on the next video.